to my channel, I decided to come to you with a very quick recipe. I'll be using the Guardian brand uh, Beefless Crumbles, and I'm pretty much going to show you how I make my shepherd's pie. I go in and fry the crumbles with a little bit of onions and mushrooms, and I just saute it. Uh, I did add some grapeseed oil to the pan before I began to add the beefless crumbles in there. And the beefless crumbles did not get thawed out before I added them to the pan. I also went in with a little bit of seasoning. Um, I believe I used some garlic, lemon pepper, and a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Uh, I just sauteed this until the meat was cooked down. As you can see, there's a few frozen pieces that are still there. But once I cooked it down, I added some petite diced tomatoes and mixed vegetables by Del Monte. I added seasonings on top of those vegetables and kind of just mixed the um, tomatoes, onions, and the uh, mixed vegetables all together and just let it cook down and this is what I have. So then you all, I just want you to see what kind of potatoes I used. Um, I went in with some gold potatoes about six of them and I boiled them for about 30 minutes or so and I just let the water let the potatoes sit in the water for a little bit I drained them added a little bit of almond milk to them and just mashed it with my potato masher and just stirred it after stirring it for a little while this is the consistency that I got and I added that to um, this pot what you can see is not my typical shepherd's pie recipe because this was just a quick shepherd's pie recipe. I was actually making uh, lunch for my husband. Uh, he was getting ready to go to work. So this, I can't put the entire Tupperware into the oven. So I packed his lunch this way, spreaded the mashed potatoes after I added the meat into the container. And I believe I went ahead and added some onion, um, not onions, I'm sorry y'all, some salt and pepper on top just for seasoning, but I just evened it all out, just a little layer of potatoes, I believe I added the whole pot, so this is what it looks like after it's all done, like I said, I went in with some pink Himalayan salt, and then I went in with a little bit of uh, pepper. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to give y'all a little clip of a side view of what it looked like in the container. So as you can see, it was more than enough that I did pack. That's just a quick recipe, y'all. If you would like specific ingredients on this recipe, be sure to comment that in the box below. Don't forget to follow me at Cooking with underscore Mommy on IG. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook group at Cooking with Mommy. Have a blessed day.